All right. Much a brew about nothing. Scredding in modern. Oh my god. Um, jeez. This hand is so bad, but it has crying sheets, which like draws us a third of a card a turn <laughs> for two mana. Uh, yeah, we can't do it. Well, I guess we're keeping this one. Like it or not. We kind of just have to, I think. I mean, we got a Mind Stone. We get a Scry. We have a Bolt for our opponent's first play. All right. <laughs> We're going to do it. Uh, I probably should have Scryed Scrying Sheets to the bottom. But I just love card drawing so much. And this deck has so little of it. Verdant Catacombs. Cracked. Expedition. Verdant Catacombs. I wish they looked cooler. If these were non-foil, they would be so awesome. Uh, especially on Moto. Being foil and paper is probably fine, but... Oh, I wish they were non-foil. Someone... Foils are so unpopular at Moto that someone made this awesome point that they should just take and... Oh. That's what this is. They should just take and make all the normal cards foil so when you open the pack you get like 15 foils and then once every so many packs in the foil slot you actually get a non-foil and then that would be more like the paper the paper world <laughs> so is this dredge oh no this is a uh, reanimator and they even have a swamp oi well we do have graveyard hate we could draw into graveyard hate we have two relics of progenitus in the main. Or another Scrying Sheets. This feels horrible, but I think we just got to roll the dice on a Relic. Alright, Snow-Covered Mountain go. There's a realistic chance we just die to Gorio's Vengeance here. Manamorphos. Uh, maybe they don't have it and they're trying to find it. Manamorphos. I guess technically Scred plus Bolt is just enough to kill a Borgamos in this situation. So at least it's not going to hit us and draw a bunch of cards. And it's not a Grizzle brand, so maybe we're okay. Maybe I could have left the Mind Stone and just went on the Scrying Sheets plan. But getting one deeper is probably correct there. Our best way of winning this match is just to have a Relic sitting on the battlefield. That's our, our most guaranteed way of winning. All right, Nourishing Shoal splices a Desperate Ritual. Desperate Ritual into Faithless Looting. Well, if they discard a Grizzlebrand, we're really going to need to just randomly draw a Relic. Whew! All right. Discards Desperate Ritual and Simeon Spirit Guide. So technically we're living... Is Blood Moon even worth it? They still have a Swamp. They can still reanimate something. All right, I think we don't play Blood Moon this turn. I think we use Scrying Sheets. The problem with playing Blood Moon is it means we can't kill Borborgamos. And we really want to not get hit by it. There's Gorio's Vengeance. Opponent attacks. Well, we... Scred and Bolt Temple of Malice gives our opponent a scry come on graveyard hate oh, another snow covered mountain pass the turn we just gotta hope they don't have it we survived one looting gonna dig our opponent a bit deeper Looking for more Gorio's Vengeance, also Grizzlebrand in the graveyard. There's a Grizzlebrand, and there's a Gorio's Vengeance. Oh, Tormenting Voice, alright. We're still alive, not dead yet. We're going to be dead soon, but we're not dead yet. Come on, Relic. Uh, well, we get a snow-covered mountain out of our hand. Do we stop and scrying sheets on our upkeep? I think we do. P.N. Karen. Draw P.N. Karen. Play Scrying Sheets. Pass the turn. This might be the turn we die. 
All right, Flash is back looting. We are officially not dead yet. Also, our Blood Moons aren't doing much. These being mountains don't really change anything. They've done so much digging, though. You gotta imagine they're gonna find it soon. And by it, I mean a another Gorio's Vengeance. All right, scrying sheets. Come on, relic. Volcanic fallout. Okay. Well, mountain. P and Karen Nalar. Pass the turn. Problem is with Grizzlebrand that our opponent can just draw their entire deck. They're at 30 life. Through the breach. With a world spine worm. Well, I don't know if we get out of this. Opponent gets a bunch of big tramplers. We get a land. World spine worm shuffles in. Can this keep us alive? Batter skull puts us up to nine. We block, 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 block. I guess technically. Technically, Batter Skull keeps us alive, I think, if our opponent doesn't have anything else. For the turn, opponent goes to attacks. So block, 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 block. This should put us to one. Still, what this does long term, pretty unclear. Manamorphose for our opponent. All right, well, scrying sheets. We need a worm coil, maybe? Well, we get a snow-covered mountain. We might as well activate on upkeep, because we can play anything. Make sure it's not a land. <laughs> Lightning bolt. Uh, does this keep us alive? It might, actually. So we draw the bolt, snow-covered mountain, get in with our germ, puts us up to five, pass the turn, nourishing shoal, gains our opponent a ton more life, and they drew a Gorio's Vengeance. Well, that does it. Well, they're gonna draw it sooner or later. They had a million cantrips. Well, we can bring in another relic we actually don't have that much for this matchup. Torpor Orb, not really. Dragon's Claw, eh. Molten Rain, might be better than Blood Moon. We probably have to just go down Blood Moons. Maybe they're all right, but our opponent has multiple basics and they just don't need that much mana to function. Plus they have Mana Morphos to fix their mana. So I guess Molten Rain and Stone Rain are probably somewhat better. They're not good. We just have a lot of cards that are bad. We don't have nearly enough sideboard cards. Like, to the point we're probably bringing in Dragon's Claws, because Pyroclasms are so bad. I guess Roast kills a Worm Token. And sudden Shock, I guess. I guess Volcanic Fallout at least is an instant, so we can combine it with Lightning Bolts. I guess we try it like that. We don't seem very well set up for this matchup. All right, we get to play first. Well, I mean, this hand is good. The problem is our opponent's deck can just kill us on turn two and we don't have any sideboard cards. In a normal matchup, I'd be fine just sudden shock something, planeswalkers for value. But I don't know if that plan is good enough against this deck, honestly. This is not much better. Mindstone to the bottom. Yikes. All right, snow-covered mountain, go. Pass the turn. Vernon Catacombs. Well, Snow-Covered Mountain, Mindstone. P and Karen is a 4-drop. I just don't know if any of our fair stuff is good enough in this matchup. If I thought our fair stuff was good enough, I would have kept our first hand. Our opponent's deck is just so unfair that playing good 4-drops just it doesn't line up well with Grizzlebrands and so forth. Bloodstained Mire. Seems likely our opponent's on the Through the Breach plan. Maybe they have Tormenting Voice here. Yeah, they must be on the Breach plan. Since they haven't actually discarded anything. But Koth. Untap a mountain. Get in. 4-4. Four, four. That's something. 
But land ritual ritual through the breach. And uh, that's a game. Nursing Shoal. Splicing a ritual. A through the breach. Alright. Well. That's a game. I was correct about them being on the through the breach plan. They didn't even need the ritual. They just needed the splice. And there's the relic we wanted so badly game one. Um. Yeah, that does it. We don't even have anything we can draw into.